Hello there, my Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dancing Star TV. Doing your reading for the first week of September. So, Sagis, what do you want to tell me? The chariot. Strong, strong movement forward. In marriage. Wow. It could be a spiritual marriage. The Two of Cups. Amazing to see that. So you, see, you already have the Two of Cups, my Sagis. So I guess we're in love. Sagittarius are in love. Meditation. The Four of Swords. I'm sorry if it's loud over here. I was saying that I changed my layout. The hermit in the reverse. Could be a Virgo, not necessarily. You want the world with that person. And we have the, excuse me, the Sagittarius card. At the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. So, judgment called, I guess, Sagittarius. In order to move forward in a marriage of the souls. And I'm happy to see everything is in the upright here. You have strong movement forward between that marriage and the chariot. There is the hierophant. So, if someone wants to get married to somebody. And they want to give them their cup of love. I hope you choose pro you choose wisely. We have the meditation card, the four of swords. We have the hermit, one in the reverse, excuse me, you do have one in the reverse, and it's the Virgo card. We have the world card here, Taurus, Scorpio, sorry, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Leo. And we have the temperance card. We have you over here closing your reading, Sagittarius, that's amazing. And the judgment in the uh, in the the uh, bottom of the deck, excuse me, and excuse the mess in the back. Please don't pay any attention to that. So strong movement forward in a marriage for you, my Sagis. It could be with an air sign, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Not necessarily, but this person really wants to get married to you too. This is going to be a short reading over here. They want to give you the Two of Cups. Cups is about feelings. It's about water energy. Cups is also about um, self-esteem. So they want to give you a certain level of self-esteem for you to be able to move forward. You also have the meditation card coming back from battle. So maybe this was like a telepathical aspect that maybe you stopped doing telepathy with someone and start doing telepathy with somebody else. This is also about hoping for the best, you know, as he has his hands crossed like that in Namaste, hoping that you get your your rightful person into the chapel. That's why we have the church here. And we have the highest council is the judgment, but we have the hierophant who wants to be with you in the chapel. We have a Virgo in the reverse here. Instead of being in the upright, the wise man is in the reverse. So maybe... You let go of someone in order to let someone else in over here. And I'm very happy to see you closing your reading with the temperance. But before that, we have the world. So you do want the world with someone here, Sagittarius. This is going to be a very short reading. You do want to move forward as, in, as the chariot. This is also a cancer card. But you do want to move forward and to give someone the world. And you want them to give you the world back. So this is what you want. You want the world and you want them to give you the world back. So please try to co communicate with them telepathically because sometimes when you're up, up at night and you're doing a lot of things, this is a knock on your door that someone is trying to communicate with you telepathically, my Sagis. So please be aware of that in order to get your two of cups. Please, please, please don't just communicate your emotions. Communicate telepathically. You have the same as Aries. It's amazing. And then we have 
the temperance in the upright. So you're closing your reading as yourself, Sagittarius. This is an angel working for you. Could be a daughter, could be a son, could be someone in the spirit trying to flip the water for you and mix the water for you. So hopefully we're going to get this right this time. So I'm going to use the, this deck in order to justify should you move forward or not. And it's orange and jun. It means move forward with caution, but with the jun here, it's like do it with an open heart. And with an open heart, you're going to have better telepathic communication. All right, my Sagis. So I'm going to thank you now. I'm going to leave you. Please like and subscribe. It makes me know that I, it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And as I always say, see you when the sun rises. Ciao, Sagis. Love you, Sagis. Ciao, ciao.